Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Dalton, Dalton 95 which is another Transformers Legacy United video. I've almost said Evolution. We are taking a look at the Deluxe Class Cyberverse Universe Windblade. Try saying that. Well, the whole thing. Multiple times fast. I'm just going to just say it's Cyberverse Windblade. Just get it out of the way. Same thing with the title. Just Cyberverse Windblade. So, there she is. Open packaging showing, you know, her with the wings straight up. All those waffles. Yay! All kids love waffles. Anyways, nice picture of her jet mode. False advertising there because she does not have a blue canopy, but it's just art, so. Anyways, some artwork there of her in robot mode. Oh, I guess, no, the renders there show a blue cockpit, so, yeah, a little bit of false advertising because from what I know, she has it all clear with the red. So, I guess we'll see when I get her opened up. It might be accurate, I don't know. Anyways, there she is with her weapon side of the box right there so if we bring in the animated bumblebee box now we have the complete artwork there i believe uh magnius has the same artwork on that side of the box so there is that so let's get her open and check her out and here we have windblade out of her packaging and for the most part looking pretty good biggest complaint right out of the gate is all the waffles here on the back as i said at the intro just does not look appealing. There should have been a way to, you know, flip the wings around during transformation. And again, I'll get into my gripes with transformation when we get there. But overall, she does look pretty good. Now, starting off with accessories, we'll go ahead and give her her fan here. Now, you can attach it to the back of her head, but you could also plug it in to her hand here as an extra accessory that she can use as either a weapon or, you know, for different poses, but it does come unclipped. There is a little channel there in her hand for her to hold it, but I just prefer keeping it plugged into the back of her head there. And as far as weapons go, she does have so that's another thing is she's a little bit back heavy does have her sword here. Now, I'm not sure what it's called in the Cyberverse, but I just think it's pretty cool looking. Now, I don't know what happened to my Titans Return one, but, or my, not my Titans Return, the Thrilling 30 version, but here she is with the, whoop, there she goes. The Transformers Legends slash Titans Return mold. Now, of course, this is the Legends color scheme, and I gave her the Thrilling 30 sword, which in my opinion is still the best looking of the Windblade swords. So you can see the inspiration they drew. I mean, it's Windblade, so she does look familiar throughout most iterations. And I just wish we'd get a RID one that's in this more generation style. I mean, she does look very close to the Cyberverse style. I mean, I've seen bits and pieces of the show. I haven't actually sat down and watched like a full season or anything but for the most part she does look the part now giving her the other sword let's see how it looks yeah see that actually does look a lot better like that i uh, just i like the simple energy blade instead of the full like flame sword that this is so I wish they would have done something like that. I know why they did this, to use that as a blast effect in jet mode, but this just overall looks better, just in my opinion. Now, can store it right here. There is a port there. Just plug this in right there. Now, she doesn't have a scabbard or anything to store it. It just plugs right on like that. So, get that. Now, talking about paint applications. Her head, I believe, is molded all in black plastic, so you got the kind of pearlescent silvery white for her face. You got the little, you know, like mask markings, because she's supposed to look like a geisha. So you got the red markings there, the bright blue eyes, along with that crest. The red on her lips. You got the gold for the side crest, the center of the crest, and the fan. You've got that same almost all spark blue here on the chest and the 
I guess the cuffs of her wrists and her knee pads here, just kind of like little jewels. Uh, on her torso here, you do have kind of a gun metal that does continue on her shins and for the fan blades here. Now I believe it's supposed to be like that for robot mode, but I think the silver just looks a little bit better. But then again, it draws you more to these empty voids in her wings, which is a problem. Other than that, it's mostly molded black and red plastic. As far as her weapon goes, it is all translucent plastic painted over with the purple translucent paint and black matte paint. So, got that. Articulation, her head is on a ball joint. It's not super expressive. I mean, you do get quite a bit up, not very much side to side. And you get limited, but it does rotate 360. Her shoulders are on swivel, so you theoretically get 360, but the wings do get in the way. You get up to there at the shoulder, you get a bicep swivel. 90 at the elbow, or less than 90 at the elbow. Nice if she had more, and then you get a wrist swivel. Do get 360 at the waist, get all the way forward, all the way back, all the way out, get a upper thigh swivel, 90 at the knee, good amount of ankle tilt, and then you get some forward or some back like that, but nothing really forward. So pretty basic posability that you would expect. Nothing too crazy or outstanding. So let's zoom out a little bit here. Now, as far as the transformation goes, it is, again, super simple. So the first thing you wanna do, bring down the nose cone here, and then split this, bring out the whole nose cone section while leaving that open, just kind of Bring it up over her head, bring down these shoulder pads, straighten out the wings, close that up, Just come down here, open up this panel, actually not first, rotate the waist, close, or, yeah, bring this section around, close up the feet. Bring up that tail fin just all the way up. Bring out these fins. Then we'll go ahead and open up this panel. Then collapse her knee all the way down. Bring this section up. I will let you finish that. Actually, we do want it back like that. And that will tab into there. Our hand will just go around that peg. And the wing will just tab into there. So again, unclip the section here. Bring it down a little bit so you can collapse the leg up. Those will tab together, same with the tail fin. Bring this down, tab that together. Put your hand around that peg. And bring these back around down here. Pull out the landing gear, and there we have Windblade in her jet mode. And she does look pretty good. I mean, it is very basic just collapse her legs, fold up her backpack, and stick her arms through their side. That seems to be what a lot of uh, Fembot. I mean, I guess all Transformers are doing that now, but. It just, I wish there was more to it, but it, it works. Like, I mean, I can't argue with the results that you get a pretty decent looking jet mode, even though, I mean, most of the jet is still like in line with the body. It's not quite a robot with the jet on her back. But there you got the turbines. And as far as weapon storage goes, you can pop the legs apart. And there is a spot right there. Just plug her sword in there. And then you got this like blast effect fire trail, or you could even plug in a couple of other blast effects to make it look like she's flying. 
So yeah. Uh, comparison, here she is with the Tangent Turn mold, and gosh, she is just dwarfed by it. Like, this was a massive figure for a Deluxe. So now you've got this. So yeah, Deluxes are definitely still getting smaller and smaller every year, it seems. But yeah, I do love the paint job on this. A little bit more than this. I really wish they did the silver cockpit, or the blue. Maybe added some white here. Like, I haven't paid enough attention to the show to know if she has more coloring than this. But again, it's not terrible. You get some more of that black here on the front of the wing. Uh, I just love how like nicely detailed the wings are up here compared to the waffles on the bottom. It does have a regular landing gear and just these little protrusions. So, I mean, can't complain too much. Uh, black paint here on this section here, as well as the lower part of the nose cone. So yeah, not a bad jet mode. Does do the job pretty well. So to get her back into robot mode, again, very simple. Just unpeg these, pull up the landing gear, and tab these, and bring the wings up just till they kind of soft tab into place, bring the legs down, close up the panel, hold up the foot and rotate the tail fin just till it makes a heel spur along with her exhaust. Hold up those fins. Just rotate her waist like that, untab this section here. There we go. This will collapse up like that. And actually, let's bring it all the way back. Collapse that there. Bring the nose cone all the way up. Tab them back together. And it just plugs into that little tab right there on her back. And there we have wind blade back in robot mode so yeah i mean she's not terrible but she's again not great i mean it seems to be a theme with her and chase but i definitely think she is a little bit stronger of a figure than chase because i at least know more about her like a little bit and like i just like her design a lot more as far as a character. So, yeah, I mean, to each your own. I mean, if you like her a lot more than I do, like all the more power to you. I obviously got her, so there was some incentive for me to get her. Plus, I mean, we're likely getting a slipstream out of her. I hope it's animated slipstream and not Cyberverse because you know, I just like animated slipstream a lot more. But at the end of the day, as long as we get a decent slipstream that's, you know, not just the Prime mold, because that's so far the only official slipstream we have, or other than the, like, warrior class or weird, you know, gimmicky toys of her from Cyberverse. But that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the Legacy United Windblade down below. And yeah, check out those links, and I'll see you guys in the next video.